Dude, you see this epic 4chan troll? Yeah, dude, they're like totally crazy. They found a flag, dude. It's crazy. 4chan? That's so insane. Dude, 4chan is so crazy. 4chan isn't a den of hackers. Elite trolls are people willing to take down whoever owned you in a Twitter battle. It's a den of lovable, slightly racist idiots. A site that, deservedly or not, has been given a mythos of legendary accolades. Its achievements have led tourists coming onto the site to emulate the same stories you'll hear in these epic troll videos. Operation own this guy on Twitter because he called me gay. Operation dox this guy because I don't like him. Operation take down X. Operation take down Y. Operation take down Z. How do places online become a shell of their former selves just by reputation? People imitating something that the website never was. It's safe to say that 4chan has become a shadow of its former self. But was it ever that scary, or was it just a spotlight? It's not a new concept, websites and cultures changing by reputation. It's been there ever since the very beginning of the internet, where getting online wasn't as easy as a task as plugging in. There was a technological barrier to entry. This used to change every September. The internet was only available at universities in that era, so first year college and university students would get access to the internet for the first time, and try their best to assimilate into the culture. However, not knowing the internet etiquette, or the unwritten rules given by those before them, growing into the culture was a difficult task. As time goes on, those users would quickly grow to learn the conventions of talking online, but as September came again, a new influx of users would appear, and the cycle would repeat. It's called Eternal September, and out of it came September's Child, a byproduct of the dot-com boom, where websites became more and more commercial as more and more people were getting online. Seems like everybody these days is on the internet, right? But no, 20% and fewer, I think, uh, uh, are on the internet. Where is everybody else? I think maybe you're afraid, like, are you a computer person? No, I'm not. I'm, I don't like the, I'm not that person. Well, there's a computer that makes it so easy, you're up and running in 10 minutes, and you're still yourself. You don't have to think about it, you don't have to talk in that language. You have a computer, but you're not a computer person. Relax. What separates Eternal September from September's Child is the fact that people during Eternal September would try to assimilate into the already established culture, learn the norms and try to fit in. With September's Child, the internet's culture as a whole changed due to the larger user base and the money offered from adding banner ads to websites. The internet is full, go away. Out of the culture of Usenet and these sub forums came image boards. Most notably, Ayashi Warido, or Strange World. It was one of the first image boards to prioritize anonymity, everyone sharing a common name. Because of server issues, it shuts down. Out of it is born Imizao, the first channel. A year later, it shuts down. However, he ends the site with a plea to make more sites like it. And out of it, 2channel. Two 2channel two is about to die, so 2chan.net is started. In 2003, creator of 4chan Moo registers 4chan.net for an email. He sits on it for a while, then decides to adapt 2chan to the west. Thus, 4chan is born. 4chan, in its essence, is another image board, but its main difference is its user base. Due to being advertised on something awful early on, people outside of the social norm would slowly grow to love it. It was anonymous, which led to everyone being mean to each other, but in the same way you joke to your friends, just with more racial slurs. <laughs> Fortran is largely unchanging in a time where websites were redesigned both inside and out, so it's mostly seen as a relic of the old internet. As the years go on, Fortran is more of an outlier, unchanging. Its reputation online has not been. There's three main perceptions of Fortran through YouTube, the lens of the media, and people who actually use the site. On YouTube, 4chan is seen as this cool website where all these epic trolls and dark content is posted, dude. It's the website where anonymous actors of Scientology. Epic troll, dude. People will yap in your ear all day about how crazy the users of 4chan are. In reality, it's largely exaggerated stories across millions of dud posts like, I like chalky milk, do you like chalky milk? There's a lot of these dark stories throughout the history of the site. 
most of them untrue and some of them real. But any site that allows anonymous posting is going to have a lot of these fun tales that are completely overused in video essays. <clears throat> In the news, 4chan is mostly seen as a den of hackers, largely through Anonymous, a hacking group that 100% aren't used as a scapegoat by larger, more established and hidden organizations. They 1000% have all the passwords in the world and aren't. Fear is often used in the news, reeling you into a 24-7 cycle of terror. But you already know this. Anonymous isn't an organized group. You can't be organized on 4chan. Anonymous is a blanket of an idea, mostly used by other groups as a good scapegoat. The trolls Anonymous did are pretty funny and mostly harmless. All in the name of good fun. Alright, what about people who actually use 4chan? Well, that'd be me. I don't post often, but when I first started out, it was due to the reputation YouTube videos had given 4chan. When I was a kid, 4chan was the coolest thing in the universe for me. Now it's something I post on when I'm bored. The term, not your personal army, comes from the reputation in the news 4chan has gotten. Nothing online stays cool forever. Eventually, cultures, ideals, and people change, move on. So, the stuff that has stuck around, especially on the internet, has always been interesting to me. An interesting study to how reputation can ruin a website, rather than the server shutting down like its predecessors. 